We're doing some man stuff today. You do not want to miss this one. In today's episode, I am teaching you guys how we, a Mr. Bubbles, cover our Verizon boxes. We're creating a Verizon box cover. Now, this is a two-parter. This first episode, I'm going to show you all the materials and how we put all of that stuff together. And then the second part is going to be we're actually going to go do a house and we're going to do a, a prepping video there for you guys to show you how we prep a house for a wash now the first thing we need right now is we're gonna head to Lowe's to get all the materials we need so let's hop to it Okay guys, we're back from Lowe's and we got everything that we need and I'm going to show you everything that we bought in order to get this do-it-yourself project completed. Now, I will say this guys that, you know, we're the only ones in the industry that are doing this right now. It's something that that is very unique to Mr. Bubble, so you guys are going to have a huge advantage over your competition because like I said, nobody is doing this. This is really going to uh, help you out a lot when it comes to your home protection so the number one thing you're gonna get guys now this I did not buy a Lowe's because I had a bunch of tarps laying around and this one was already cut because this Verizon box cover guys I make uh, like seven or eight of them at the beginning of each season so every single one of my trucks has this cover inside of their truck and uh, so so the cover itself you see that it's just a, a tarp and I took an old tarp and I cut it and the the you're gonna cut it uh, wide it's going to be 36 inches and long 48 inches so that's how this is already and again this is pre-cut because I had a bunch of these laying around so I'm just uh, reusing some of this material that I had and again the color doesn't matter guys it's just a tarp right it's just a, a, an old tarp maybe yours is gray maybe yours is green or black or whatever but again you want to make it 36 inches wide and 48 inches long okay that's your tarp and then the other thing that you're going to get you're not going to be able to see this on screen uh because it's 12 feet this uh this is like a for flashing for your carpets you find this in your carpet section of lowe's wherever they sell carpets so you see it's a piece of aluminum it's about an inch uh, and a half wide you see that and we're gonna cut this to 36 inches we're gonna go in a little bit here and take this to our cutting table then the next guys is this look at this so this right here uh, I don't know if you can see that label really well there but uh, this right here you're going to find in your construction aisle of Lowe's so this is where you find your roofing stuff because this is actually for like a chicken coop roof or or a greenhouse type roof uh, so this is like a little shingle you know the big shingles that they put on the roof so this is real bendable plastic and this is what we're going to use in our uh, Verizon box cover this is the part that snaps underneath the the siding so you're gonna get to see that at the very end so stay tuned to the very end so you, you can actually see how all of this comes together and how this all works next you're gonna need five of these little bolts guys uh, these are one inch long and they're quarter inch bolts you're gonna need five of those you're going to need a quarter inch drill obviously you're gonna need your drill you're gonna need a, a pair of shears for cutting uh, and you're going to need uh, this is just an alligator clamp and uh, Well, you know, you're gonna need some hand tools a wrench and whatnot. So uh, And then this is very important guys. I don't know if you guys know or are familiar with this product This is gorilla tape now. We stopped using um, You know your, your regular duct tape a long time ago duct tape. It does not work very well and um, 
I think two or three episodes from this one. No, I think it's like four episodes from this one. I'm doing an episode that's titled um, "The Ten Things You Should Have at Your tr Inside Your Truck at All Times." This is going to be on that list, guys. Gorilla Tape. This thing here has saved me. Wow, it has saved me a lot of time in the field because sometimes you know if I got a leak in one of my hoses or something just some gorilla tape this is going to be your tip of the day by the way make sure you have gorilla tape inside of your house that's your tip of the day gorilla tape highly recommend so let's take all of this stuff over to our cutting table we need to cut these two pieces right here to 36 inches wide and then we're going to put this together and i'm going to show you how to how to do that let's go over there so here we are guys at our cutting station our cutting table so what we're going to do is we're going to measure these two out and uh cut to the length of 36 inches so here you go first we're going to take the measuring tape we're going to measure this all the way over and we're going to mark it right there. 36 inches right there. Super easy. These shears right here, they're, they're metal shears. So this should make quick, quick work of this. Oh, there you go. Boom. We'll put that out of our way here. So again, this is measurement 36 inches, which is the same measurement of your tarp. Now, uh, this... Uh, this plastic here, if you guys look, uh, you'll see that I'm just putting this over it, okay? And uh, by the way, you want this to be an inch and a half wider than the aluminum piece. That's very important. You're going to get to see in the end why that is because that's the piece that we're going to shove underneath the siding. So here you go. We're just going to mark this right here. And then we're going to put that line, make it straight okay and we know that it's all the way down this this little this little arch right here but either way we'll, we'll put a little bit of uh, a little bit of our uh, of our uh, ink on there just so we know where we're cutting it again this is not anything that is uh, super difficult to do again we're cutting this to 36 inches and you're just gonna take your shears and you're gonna go straight down there's a little bit of, of the black from the permanent marker there. And I'm just going down that, that little line and cutting it. Again, it doesn't have to be super perfect, guys. You know, the, but you just want to make sure that you hit those measurements of 36 inches because that's the same measurement of the tarp. And again, I mean, you're going to get to see at the end there why we do it that way. Okay. So here you go, we're almost there. Okay, now we'll cut the other side. Nice and easy here, cut for us. There you have it. So here, this is the two parts, okay? So we're gonna make like a little sandwich with our tarp. The tarp is gonna go in between these two. So you see that guys? Right there, boom. So now, let's take this over back into the shop and uh, put this together in our workstation. Let's get over there. Okay guys, moving right along. Now we have all of our materials. We haven't drilled anything yet, uh, but we do have everything cut. Remember, we have our tarp, the blue tarp that is cut to th uh, 36 inches wide by 48 inches long. Then we have this aluminum that is cut to 36 inches, and this is an inch and a half, and this is two inches. But you see in there, it's like a, a really, really thick plastic, okay? But it's malleable. You can see there, I can bend it easily and stuff, so. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to put this over this, and we're going to drill. We're going we're gonna to make five holes. Now, if you see, this already has some holes on, in it, but they're not wide enough for the, for the bolts that we're going to use. These are, uh, we, gotta, we just got to drill, drill them out a little bit to a quarter inch. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take this over, our... Um, our plastic we're gonna put it over with the plastic underneath and we're gonna use our drill here <coughs> we're gonna put our remember this is quarter inch drill bit so quarter inch drill bit for a quarter inch uh, bolt so we got that in there real snug so now again you want to press down on this as hard as you can and you're gonna drill right into it so 
So uh, hole number one is in the books. Hole number two. There you go. Number two is done. Number two. We'll do number three. Number four. And finally, number five. Okay. So you guys can see here, I've drilled five holes in there. And, and we're going to test one of these bolts through all of them to make sure you want to make sure that the, the all the holes are uh, wide enough for your bolts. So here you go, guys. Hole number one. Perfect. Hole number two. Perfect. Hole number three. Also perfect. Number four. Wow. Right through there. And your last one right through there. Okay. So the next the next thing we're gonna do now guys is we're actually gonna drill out the holes for our tarp Okay, so remember this side here of the tarp Right is the the wide side, right? So it's 36 inches as wide as as this uh, Plastic piece you see the plastic piece that I put on there. So it's just as wide as that So what we're gonna do is you're gonna put this on the board right just like so, you see it there on the board. We're gonna take our plastic piece, we're gonna put over it, and then we're gonna, and this is very important guys, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to put a lot of weight on this plastic so the, so the tarp doesn't move on you. But essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna drill holes into this tarp so the, the bolt can go through it. And obviously you know where the holes are because you've already drilled holes in here. And again, you just got to put a, you got to apply, you see how I'm doing this with my fingers here? I'm applying a lot of pressure and I'm going real slow with this because it doesn't need a lot to cut right through this, right? So just slow and just like that, I'm already through. Next one, again, real slow guys. Just like that, I'm already through. Next one, boom, already in there. Next one, already in there and the final one boom okay so now here you go now we have this is drilled the aluminum is drilled and also this is drilled so what you're going to do here guys is you're going to put this at the very bottom you're going to put this on on your table and you're going to take your your five bolts and remember this is quarter inch thick but it's a, a inch uh, long so you're going to take your four bolts and you're going to put them through your plastic piece there and you, you basically what you're creating here is you're going to create a sandwich where <clears throat> think of a sandwich in three parts you know you have your you have your the the bottom part of the sandwich this this bun let's call this the bottom bun is right here and you're going to put your bolt right through it and then the this is going to be the meat part of the the sandwich and then the the top bun is going to be your aluminum part and again, I mean, guys, this is something that I created about four, maybe five years ago for myself. This is uh, something that, uh, you know, I created so no chemical can get behind the wall of the and affect your Verizon box. OK, so there you go. You can see the bolts on there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece right here and we're just going to put it where we already drilled the hole. Kind of like how you would put a... Uh, uh, a shower curtain for example guys right okay so I got a cutter here I missed one of the holes it's not a big deal if you do this you just cut it right there you see how I did that with my cutter okay I just boom right there cut it no big deal I just missed one of the holes on the actual uh, on the actual tarp okay oh actually no you know what I did here guys I got the tarp uh, the other way around so the holes on the other side there you go See, even in here in Mr. Bubbles, we make mistakes. That's how we learn, by the way. So here you go. So this side, one, two, three, four. That one doesn't have a hole. And then we got your last bolt right here. Boom. Okay, there you go. So you guys see that? You guys see that? You can see that, the four bolts, the five bolts through there. Next thing that you're going to do now is you're going to put this piece through there right just like so boom just like that goes right in there 
So you have all your four pieces in there. Now you're going to put your the nuts in there. Just screw that on like so, as hard as you can with your finger first. And then we are going to use our alligator clamp and our little wrench here to uh, get them in there real tight. And I'm going to show you guys here in a second how we, we, we finalize everything here with our Gorilla Tape. So once all the, all the nuts have been put in there, guys, what you're going to do is... Oh, and by the way, this is a very important, uh, if, very important tip here, guys. You want to make sure that the side, this, the side that um, the Verizon box is going to be here, right? So, so these, these, uh, the extra, the tips on the bolts, they got to be facing you. They can't be facing the wall side. They got to be the opposite of the wall side. So this is going to be your wall side here, and this is going to be sticking out. Or else if this was on the wall side, you know, it'd be hard for it to uh, fit in there. So anyway, so you're going to take your alligator clamps, and you're going to clamp them to the back like so. Right? Just like that. Boom, easy peasy. You're gonna take your, your wrench here and you're just gonna tighten it. Doesn't have to be too tight. Boom, ah, that's, ah, that's already real snug. Next one. There you go. Again, you just want it snug enough where it's not gonna come off. It doesn't have to be super, super tight because you know, there's not, no vibrating force against it or anything like that. So it doesn't have to be super tight. And this is really going to help you guys out. Um, you know, you've seen some of my videos. Sometimes we use uh, plastic bags to cover the Verizon box. And we only do that in situations where, for example, for whatever reason that is, we can't use the Verizon box cover. Sometimes the, the space on the wall is too small or the siding just doesn't allow us to do it. Uh, but, you know, once in a while, like once every couple houses, we'll run into a house where you can't use the cover. But that's why we also have the 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 bags as well with the with the blue painter tape. So if you guys notice on here, a little bit above the above the aluminum, there's a little uh, piece of uh, of uh, of the tarp that's still on there. So you're gonna just use your cutter and you're just gonna cut that off like so. You're just gonna go straight down the middle like that. See how I cut that excess tarp off? And, th and there you go, guys. That's what it's going to look like at the end. You see that? You see that? Now, remember I was mentioning the Gorilla Tape. This is what it's for. If you see on here real good, there's a gap between the aluminum and the plastic. So you still have a... It's a small probability, but you still have a probability where chemical can slide in here. Right? So what we're going to do to fix that issue is... This is what your Gorilla Tape is for. You're going to take this Gorilla Tape and you're going to run it the length of, of this uh, aluminum right here, just about like that. And you're going, to, you're going to cover it with Gorilla Tape, just like so. Just like so. See that? And then I use this to get it in there real good. Cut the area around the bolt so it sits in there real nice. There you go. Just like so. Now it's nice and flat with the aluminum. Okay. Now here's 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 the here's the important part too, guys. You see how it's a little bit more, the tape is a little bit more. I'm just gonna cut the access tape off. And then at the halfway point here, I'm gonna cut some of this tape off as well. So I'm going to cut the, some of the tape off at the corner. So there you go. That's corner number one. Cut the tape off of that corner. We're going to cut the tape off of this corner. Again, I'm just cutting a little bit of the access, excess tape that, that's not needed. Okay? And then I'm going to cut like a quarter of an inch off of the actual hard plastic. Because we don't want the tape interfering with it going inside of the, the siding there. So here you go. There you go. And then you just rip that you rip that right off. Like so. And there you have it guys. This is your your Verizon box cover. This is what it looks like. So essentially you made like a little sandwich where the tarp is the meat. You made like a little burger. 
Your bottom burger, your bottom bun is this uh, plastic piece. Your top is the aluminum piece. And sandwiched between the two pieces is your tarp. So you see that, guys? That's what it lo looks like. And I got a little setup here at the shop. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna use this in the field. So let's go over there so I can show you how this actually works. Okay, guys, um, so this is what the end product looks like, okay? So remember, this is 36 inches wide, 48 inches long. And you have your plastic piece on the outside, on the inside part, and your aluminum piece on the outside, and then you have black tape there so the chemical can just roll right over it. So imagine here, I set this up for you guys. Think of this as the Verizon box. It's just a step ladder. This is the side of my truck. So imagine here for a second, right? That the side of my truck is actually the side of a house. And you see this plastic piece here on the bed of my truck? So siding, guys, um, if, you've, if you've ever noticed, siding has a little lip and they're just connecting to each other. And what this is going to do, because this is malleable plastic, bendable plastic, you'll be able to jam it underneath, right underneath that siding. So this is what it's going to do for you. It's going to cover your Verizon box. And this is what it looks like. So you're just going to take this and you're going to, you're going to, you're going to finagle it. You're going to put that plastic right underneath the siding. You see how I did that? And then you're just going to go through and you're just going to push that straight in there. Just like so. And that piece is just going to sit right in there real nice for you. Just like that. You see that? So, and it's, a, by the way, it's a little bit easier with the siding because the truck here, this plastic is really hard to, to, to move it around. But anyway, and then you're just going to slide that over so imagine for a second that that is your verizon box in there guys and all your chemical is going to come down this wall like so it's going to hit that black tape it's just going to go right over there and that's how we do it at mr bubbles remember guys you got to take into account home protection you get your chemical behind that box and you're going to fry people's uh internet and you can even burn their house down so there you have it guys this is a very unique thing that we do at mr bubbles this is going to help you save time energy and also money because you know you're not using tape all the time but uh but anyway thank you very much yeah i really appreciate you guys coming to my channel and uh watching this video i highly recommend you watch the next one because the next one is the second part of this where we're going to take this cover out into the field and you're going to get to see how we prep a house for a wash. Again, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bubbles out.